For a few brief minutes, the moon obscured the sun and bathed a 160-kilometer wide strip of North America in a total absence of sunlight. It happens in any one spot on Earth on average once every 3,000 years, but when it does, it unites people of all kinds in a shared wonder of the workings of the universe. When you see the sun completely disappear, become one million times fainter, and you see its pearly white corona, it looks as though a black hole is opened up in the sky. In a celestial celebration at Butler University in Indiana, people traveled across the continent for what, for many, is a once-in-a-lifetime event, biding their time with games, juggling, cards, and company on something more than an ordinary Monday. For about 80 minutes, a partial eclipse pulls a curtain of darkness across the sun until a bright shape like a diamond on a ring appears on the moon's horizon. Scientists filming the event hope to gather information on the sun's flaming corona, affecting the star's magnetic fields and the solar flares that can cause outages in satellite communications. In the same way that we might predict extreme weather on Earth, we're hoping we might be able to use the information that we learn from projects like this to uh, predict extreme solar weather. Then, the sun slowly reveals itself again. This is incredible. This is like uh, the Super Bowl. It's like the World Cup final, you know, all kind of wrapped into one. With the moon still obscuring the sun, People who came here to witness this rare phenomenon in the path of totality are gathering their things. They'll be checking out of hotels priced up because of the eclipse and crowding onto the highways to go tell the story. In the end, after all the time and trouble, was it worth it? It was fabulous. It was worth every single moment in the airport. Oh, this is something indescribable. I would recommend it to anybody. It was horrific. For a few minutes of wonderment and a lifelong memory, those we talk to say more than worth it. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Indianapolis. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.